we're on. All right. Welcome to the Practical Pistol Show. My name is Ben Steger. I'm here to answer your shooting questions. Joining me is producer Candace. Cool intro here. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Candace, what are we talking about today? Well, today we've got, um, yeah, we've got an article by Caleb Giddings, Five Gun IDPA Master, in uh, Gun Nuts Media, where he says winning is the only thing. This is the one from, like, last month. This is, like, three years ago in Internet time. Yeah, I know. It's a long time ago, but... Um, Why are we talking about it? Um, it's interesting. Probably, yeah, it probably interesting? because it's pretty interesting, because it gets at the heart of some of why people compete and why some people, um, I don't know, don't really want to get any better, I guess, really. All right, cool. You sold me. <laughs> okay, great. Good. So here it goes. Um, Caleb says, I don't enjoy competition shooting that much these days. Sure, I still like to shoot matches, but for, for me, the juice isn't really worth the squeeze. See, the problem is that I like winning more than I like getting better. You'd think those two things would go hand in hand, but they really don't. Sadly, it's an easy trap to fall into. When I first started shooting action pistol matches, it wasn't long before I was one of the better shooters at my local club in Indiana. Then I discovered that if I shot revolver, I could pretty easily win my class or division. Didn't matter to me that I only beat one or two or four guys because I won. I got addicted to that feeling of being the best. When I moved to Seattle, it was easy to continue doing that because my sponsors provided me with guns that didn't really fit well into a division other than limited 10. So I kept shooting that and kept winning club matches. I'd shoot occasional majors and do all right, but never came close to winning except for revolver divisions at IDPA Nationals. The major match finish I'm most proud of is fourth in CDP at the 2012 Indoor Nationals. That was a real division with legit masters, and I shot a good match to get there. As time passed, winning club matches didn't really do it for me anymore. I wanted something bigger, something better. I wanted to win my class at a major. I had a shot to win B class at single stack nationals, but I choked. Sixth or seventh in my class. I finally won first master at a couple of IDPA national level matches in revolver, but I hadn't heated any of the past national champs to get it, so what's the point? Well, all right, I think we can stop there for now, for a second. Oh, do you have some snide comments to insert? Oh, I have, oh, and how. I mean, he's a freaking hider, man. That's pretty awful, dude. I mean, limited 10, revolver, and IDPA, Jesus. What do you? I mean, he just said it right in there. What do you give a shit, though? I mean, he if he, I'm, I'm serious. If he beats like three dudes in revolver, it makes him happy. Well, I think you're, honestly, you're he's just mad because he didn't you, win revolver this year. Okay, but I mean, he does, He just says he doesn't give a shit about uh, winning matches that much anymore. Okay, well, we'll just keep going then. Well, I mean. I don't know. Like what? I guess that's fine. Like no, I think he, he's saying that he didn't actually beat anyone to win, and when he there was somebody to beat, he couldn't beat them. Right. So, so I don't think that it's that he can't beat good guy. Or I think that he kind of wants it both ways, right? It's like it's not fun to doesn't beat everybody. Anyone. Well, I guess sort of. <laughs> I mean, yeah, sort of. But I mean, anyway, so anyway, Caleb says, then this is the problem. I like shooting, and I enjoy shooting matches, but the part I enjoy isn't the process of becoming a better shooter. I hate dry fire, and I don't even particularly enjoy structured live fire practice sessions, but those are exactly what I need to spend more time doing if I ever want to be more than a state-level champion. Yeah, man, that really kind of pisses me off. Why does that make you mad? Because, like, to me, that is the point of shooting. Is well, to me, I, I feel like I personally very much enjoy the process of becoming better. Like, the things that he hates are the things that I like. Exactly. That's <laughs> I how like, I feel. I like doing dry fire. I like the practicing. I enjoy all that stuff. Um, that's actually, like, the most fun to me is to go out like, by myself and 
pull target stands out of my truck and like shoot stuff for a while and you know pick up my brass and think about kind of how what I learned that day and then drive home. I like that. Man, that sounds boring. But yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I like that. Well, you saying he doesn't like that? I, well, I don't know, man. It just why? <sighs> I can see why somebody wouldn't like it. It's a shit ton of work. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's just I've got this kind of irrational dislike of Caleb. It's not irrational. It's very it's a very human thing to want to shit on people that don't think the way you think or don't well, like the things you like. It wasn't so much that. It's just that I guess when I started, Caleb was actually I'm not going to say I looked up to him because I'm taller, but <laughs> Oh, a height joke. He's never heard that before. Yeah, yeah. I know. I'm sure he's never heard that. He's never done a height joke on Caleb. Yeah, but you know, it was just, I don't know, it just seems to me like, why the hell does he blog or anything if he doesn't really want to get better at shooting? Is Why does he talk about shooting then? Well, yeah, I don't, is that what they talk about? I'm going to head over to Gun Nuts right now. I don't oh even God. think, I don't, I don't think that's what they talk about on there. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't think that's what people care about. You think they care about, you know... I think the they care about guns. Here's an article about oh some type of 22 Magnum revolver. Who cares? Other article, <laughs> other article about 357 revolver. Who the fuck another cares? Another article about cost and the 1911 part three. What? Poor <laughs> fuckers. Whatever, man. <laughs> revolver tour. Smith and Wesson 929. It's the unicorn revolver. Now, hmm. Next article. I'm slightly interested. GP100. So I guess this is what people care about. I mean, different types of guns and. Are 1911s expensive or are they shitty? And like, I don't know. This yeah, is like this wow. stuff makes me want to claw my eyeballs out because I don't care about it. Yeah. Uh, but I, I will acknowledge that I'm the weird one. Most people love it. I mean, most people like you know different types of guns and all that stuff. I don't okay. care about it. Though. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I guess. Yeah. Um, I used to care more too. Um, I really did. I mean, yeah. You're old, so, jaded, and shit. No, I'm not jaded. I just, just don't care so much anymore. So Caleb continues. I don't really know why I'm writing this. It's 2:39 a.m. where I am, and I can't sleep. Maybe I've got stuff on my mind. Maybe I'm reflecting on a shooting career that looks great on paper, but has largely left me unfulfilled and wondering what I spent all that time and effort on. Hmm. What's really interesting to me is that in other areas, I'm more than willing to put in the work, running, lifting, PT, or working on ad sales and running the company. There I don't mind the little things or the progressive measures that I need to take to become a better ad salesman or better running. Yeah, but with the shooting sports, I do. I just want to win. I want that high of winning, but I don't want to win high press or something else meaningless. Well, okay. The more of those pointless plaques I piled up, the less they mattered to me. So, you've got a lot of pointless plaques, Ben. Do they mean less to you now that you've won more? Uh, no. I mean, I guess they mean, like, the same. Hmm. Okay. Well, it sounds to me like the things he wants to work on aren't really, like, something that you can lose at. I think you can lose at running a company, can't you? Um, yeah, but it's not like, you know, I don't know. It's just it's not quite the same thing. I, but why does this 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 article offends you, like personally? It's, I think it's because you care so much about improving. Yeah, I, I care and, like and to incredibly hear much. Like if I don't feel like I'm getting better, like over the course of a week or whatever, then it's like, God, I suck. I'm, this is terrible. What right. am I doing? And then when you read, like, somebody who's, who's like, yeah, I don't give a shit about improving. It does nothing for me. That, like... <laughs> well, to me, it's like, then why don't you just kill yourself now? <laughs> you know? I mean, if you don't want to get better at it, then, yeah, maybe he should stop. Um, stop living? No, shooting. Oh. Okay, well, I mean... I mean, yeah, he says maybe he'll take up bullseye, but, you know, newsflash, I mean, you can lose bullseye, too. I think there's maybe less, a little bit less heat in that, though. Hmm. Well, all right. I don't know. Uh, not my sport. Okay. 
Well, that was fun. Wow. Sorry, I just, I don't know. There's just something about... An emo a passionate emotional reaction is good for you, Candace. Okay, People so... People love that shit. Oh, God. You just got me all worked up. All right. So the question is... Um, question this time is... Shooting shoot question! A, yes! Yay. Shooting a stage where you have a target array with open and hard targets from the draw, is it better to start with the hard and move to the open targets, or vice versa? Yes. Was that the right answer? It's an answer, yeah. Um, so is, start with the hard ones or start with the easy ones? Yes. Okay. You should do that. All right. So, hey, well, yeah. I, I realize I'm being an asshole. All right, it's scenario dependent. And it's, it's like individual skill dependent and preference dependent. All right. Um, so if you've done, uh, Candace, I know you have, you've done drills like accelerator or distance change-up where there's, you know, targets of different difficulties and that sort of thing. Right, right. You've done a lot of that, and your times are probably broadly similar no matter which way you shoot it, whether you start in a hard one or start in the easy one or something like that, right? Yeah, they're pretty similar, but, um, yeah, I prefer definitely to start on the hard one and get to the easy ones because, I mean, you know, I just start getting more and more out of control as I go, and that seems to work better <laughs> with, like, going from the one I have to aim at to the one I can just blast. Right, but, you, but you know plenty of people that prefer to end on the hard one. Oh, yeah, they, they prefer to get a running start, so to speak. Yes, so uh, having, you know, uh, identifying your preferences is, is important. Checking the times, because they're going to be broadly similar, and then you look at what the actual stage scenario is, and if it's actually a viable strategy on that stage to shoot the hard one and then move and shoot the easier ones while you move, that sounds like the best way to do it to me as it's written down. But then if I say, like, yeah, do that, that's the way to do it, uh, there'll be some fucking stage that somebody will look at, and that's not going to be the way to do it. For an exa as example, let's say that you don't have very far to move. That is maybe maybe you have to shoot like eight shots, and the first two are going to be really hard, and then you're going to shoot six shots while you move, but you only have to move like three steps. And after you move that three steps, you have to reload because then there's a bunch more targets right there. In that circumstance, it probably would not pay any dividends to actually move. You following me? So like it, it's very circumstance dependent. Okay. Yeah, so that I'm, makes sense. I'm, I'm hesitant to provide uh, just, like, this is the way to do it. But, I mean, yeah, it sounds cool to shoot the hard one first and then move on the easy ones. Yeah, I mean, it sounds cool. It sounds good. But uh, you got to practice it a bunch of different ways, um, and you'll see that your times are broadly similar pretty much no matter what you do on, on most stages. And, uh, yeah, I mean, sorry, I can't really give you a better answer than that, but that, that's the deal. So basically just practice everything, which... Well, wait. let's not even not even say practice everything. You should experiment with everything. Oh, I, mean, I see. I mean, kind of aside from even just practicing, you should experiment on everything. Well, I mean, there might be some situation where you basically have to start on the hard one. It makes no sense to do anything but start on the hard one. But I guess that guy's asking preference. Like, there's some magical answer. Well, that, that guy's looking for... Probably looking for an answer... Something hmm. firm, something he can he can cling to like a life raft, and that's wow. tough. That's tough to do. Man, what? No, it is. I, yeah, you're right. He's just you know, just thinking about the motivation for that question. That's all. All right. I don't know. I mean, people have a lot of different motivations for asking questions. Maybe he's just trying to fuck with me. I don't know. All right. Probably well, not. so that's the uh, that's the article and. Uh, the question. Mm -hmm. Article, discussion topic. I love it. All right, well, that's going to do it for me. If you have a question you'd like answered, head over to bensteger.com. Send me your question. Candace will read it. I will answer it. I will try not to shit on you about it, and that'll be that. You have. You want to say goodbye, Candace? Yeah. Bye, guys. And. Uh